Hey everybody, welcome back to BK Stunts video guide of the Chris campaign. We're going to be doing the last chapter of the campaign, chapter 5, which is kind of sad. It means our time is almost at an end. Uh, we got three more videos left at least. Um, here at the campaign select screen, uh, miffed up a video earlier, so I'm doing a chapter select to show you what to do and here we go this uh, this video has a lot of cutscenes in it so enjoy There's irony for you. A man who spent his entire life trying to destroy the world, and now his son is the only one who could save it. And here I am coming to rescue him. The man who killed his father. Like I said, irony. I don't know. Maybe it's fate. It's been three years since I killed Wesker. I can't let this war follow me forever. After we rescue Jake, I'm turning in my gun. What? Wait a minute. It's about time someone took my place. I'd be honored if it was you. I... I don't think I'm ready for that. You made it this far, haven't you? All right. This is it! Ah, cool. So, we're on our way to save Jake and Sherry. And apparently Chris is thinking of calling it, uh... Calling his retirement. Naming Piers the heir apparent. Interesting stuff. Who the hell has the funding to build something like this? He's got Neo Umbrella written all over it. Be careful. Knowing them, there'll be some surprises. Copy that. Sure got a lot of, uh, grenade rounds. Not a lot of other ammo, but sure got a lot of grenade rounds. Okay, here's a sh another short little scene. Captain. I think I got it. They found us. We gotta go. Well, at least they're free. Captain, can you We're kind of in trouble now. They're in some sort of research bag. We want to go get through this uh, small little go get duct slash passageway. Whatever the heck that thing is. Here, there's uh, three crates out in the open. May as well grab them. And once you do, we're going to want to throw Piers over here. Piers, I need you to scope out an area for me. And we're going to be separated from Piers. Very early on in the chapter. Piers is actually going to be bombarded by enemies over there. So hopefully your uh, human partner can handle it if you're playing with one. See if you can turn them off from up there. We're going to head down through the uh, duct system. Piers is going to turn that switch okay. and we're going to drop down here. Roger, I'm going in. Oh, for Christ's sake! 
And as you can see there in the distance, that's the first serpent emblem of chapter 5. Very easy to find. Okay, so we're underneath the huge area that uh, Piers is fighting in. Here you can uh, shoot enemies from underneath the floor. Especially get these guys on the uh, automated turrets. Well, not automated, I guess they're on them. But uh, help out Piers as much as you can. Eventually, we're going to need Piers to hit that lever so we can continue. Uh, down here, besides fighting, you can also find that crate and one over here. There's a couple uh, turrets up there, by the way. Be sure to help Piers out, especially if you're playing with a partner. You don't really have to worry so much if it's a computer, but, you know, help your buddy out as much as you can. And once you're ready to go on, head through the uh, fans. You'll see this uh, duct right here you can crawl into. Uh, that was fun. Down here there's two enemies. They'll never see you as you come down. That guy is always walking away when you slide down. So you have time to get to, to cover. Or you could run up behind them and do a melee kill. Or you could shoot them from a distance. You know, whatever. There's a cover melee kill. That guy's going to notice, so be sure to get him right away. Okay, down here, we're going to want to power up the elevator that leads up to where Piers is. Because we need him to continue on through a door down here. Piers, I've restored power to the elevator. So let's go get Piers. Piers, I'm in the elevator. Headed your way. Yeah, get ready for a fight. If especially if you're playing with the computer. He could have lots of enemies right on top of him. And notice the camera basically focuses towards the back. Very annoying. Yeah, but Piers could have lots of enemies right on top of him. I would uh, recommend as soon as he gets on the elevator to close it and keep on going. No reason to fight out there. Not really, I mean unless you want to make sure you get the S rank for enemies killed. Make sure you get your enemy kills in. Speaking of enemies, there's quite a few in here. As soon as you enter this room, get ready, they're coming in from the right. You end up fighting... Oh jeez, I, I want to say at least a dozen enemies. That may be one or two too many. I'm getting rid of some of these uh, corrosive rounds. I prefer the nitrogen rounds and the explosive rounds. <laughs> I got peers there. Sorry, buddy. Always good to follow up with some melee. Oh, here's got caught. Suppose we can help him out. That would have been a great place for a grenade right there. Oh, hey, I did throw one. Maybe a little too late. The computer also likes to go out this door. Your computer control partner likes to go out this door and fight. You can go join them if you want. 
You see how the door kinda has an automatic uh, opening thing going on? I was pointing to the door we came into for a reason, but uh, decided to kill these enemies off first. Yeah, flash grenade, not a good choice there. Okay, now that they're dead, me, uh, we're going to get a serpent emblem, go to the door you came in from, and look to the upper right. And there in the duct is the second serpent emblem of chapter 5. Two down, two to go. Okay, let's continue on. Once you're out here, this uh, right to the right is a uh, dead end. To the left, you got some uh, crates over here. Ooh, a red herb. Kick ass. I really needed that too. I had zero health tablets. I'm pretty sure that red herb right there just saved this uh, playthrough. There's also a box over here. It doesn't have skill points though. It has uh, grenade rounds. Inside this room are two enemies with rocket launchers. Very destructive. Be very careful. See, he was basically shooting the wall right there. There's the second one. Pro! That was a nice shot. And another herb. Very nice. Okay, continuing on, we'll head out here to this elevator. We gotta power this one up. And head inside to continue. Blech. Okay, this is a kind of cool area. There's lots of conveyor belts here on the uh, sides of the walls. There's an upper area here that overlooks everything else. We're going to have to hold out here. We're going to have to hold our ground and fight uh, waves of enemies. I think, uh, what is the timer? About two minutes and then another minute. Somewhere around three minutes. There's going to be snipers on top there. There's going to be uh, napods uh, coming in from the uh, conveyor belts. So be sure you're ready. Load up all your ammo. I'm going to start off with some nitrogen rounds. And when you're ready, hit the switch with your partner. Napods, uh, Znito enemies, the B ones. Yeah, check this out. Wow. <laughs> I recommend taking the snipers out, by the way. Something tells me this creation is the pillow. Pierce, can you get through to HQ? Go, oh, not unless we get tired. 
That was interesting dialogue, so I was quiet for it. Ada has a pre-recorded voice there. Basically anticipating somebody finding this place. Kinda weird. Or very smart. But uh, notice on the uh, nitrogen rounds within the pods. You can uh, get two at once if they group up over here. There's 3,000 skill points. That's fantastic. But you can punch them when they're frozen. And they'll downright shatter if they're low on health. Just like any enemy. So the first timer is done. Now we gotta wait for pressurization. There's a Zenito. Those things are annoying. You uh, shoot the Napod with the uh, nitrogen round. You can punch it and then it will fall back and it will let you punch it again. So that's a tactic I recommend. It's a nice one-two punch. Try to save your explosive rounds if you can. They're gonna they're gonna be very helpful coming up here in the at the end of chapter five. Of course, shotgun's always good for these enemies, uh, the Zenito enemies. It may take two or three shots like I had to do there. Definitely prioritize staying alive over killing things, though, guys. Unless you're going for the uh, S rank, you need to stay around and kill enemies to make sure you got the enemies killed requirement. I was looking for a good place to use that grenade, but I never found one. See those snipers? They are just, uh, man, they're just a pain in the ass. Boom! Okay, once you hear that, once you see this scene, you are free to uh, continue. So if you're taking a beating, go ahead and leave. Freaking sniper. If you're on top of things and want to kill enemies and want the uh, skill points, feel free to stay. They'll keep on bringing... Ah, Jesus, the snipers. They're like the bane of my existence right here. They'll keep on bringing out the uh, cocoons. If you let them, of course. Because the enemy has to be near those levers, but still. Yeah, I think it's time to go. To the door, Greg. To the door. Okay, partner, let's go. And coming up here, we'll have another cutscene. And a story interaction, which is cool. to see you're okay. Wait, was that you who just freed us? Looks like you guys saved the day again, huh? I can see your father in you. How did you know Wait, what... hold on a second. I see you know him? Yeah, I did. I'm the one that killed him. It was you? That's right. Chris? Better put a leash on that puppy. This is between me and him. Go ahead. Shoot. You have every right to. <laughs> Just promise me you'll survive. The world depends on it. Who the hell are you to tell me what to do? Stop it! Put your gun down! Now! Tell me. We just following orders? Or was it personal? Both. Jake, please stop. Put a bullet Just in your put head. your gun down. Your Don't weapon. do this! The 
there are more important things at stake than you and me. We gotta go! Jake! I know! Well, there's some drama. Okay, well, that's the end of this video. We will uh, escape with Jake and Cherry after this. Ride these elevators up. But I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Uh, come check out the next video. That can't be good. And uh, we'll get through the rest of Chapter 5 together. Okay, see you guys then.